Okay, Rainbow Bright, Strawberry Shortcake, or the other way around, minifigures from, where are they from? They're from the Loyal Subjects. I have actually collected Masters of the Universe action figures from there. This is, I mean, you don't get much more 80s than Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bright. I have the full collection, kind of. You can get Chase ones. I have not figured out the Chase ones for um, Rainbow Bright. There could be chase ones here. They glow in the dark. I have seen a few cases of these in Canada at Walmart. Also, I have seen them at Toys R Us in Canada as well. Now, I thought that they were supposed to be a some kind of exclusive to someone. Anyway, so these are readily available. I didn't think they were, so I did buy them quickly. They're actually for a friend. I, um, I'm not that excited about these, to be perfectly honest with you. I do like what loyal subjects... Uh, has done. I don't like blind bags and it's good to see that they don't have them this time. But let's open up these. I also do have the two first dolls. There's supposed to be a whole collection of dolls coming out. Uh, we'll talk more about that when I open up the dolls. But they, they've been they've been reissuing them in Europe and making them and and for some reason, the Americas, or Canada and the United States, there's been no, you know, there's been no reissues of um, Strawberry Shortcake mainly. Rainbow Bright, I, I want to get, I do have Lemonada, the two babies from Strawberry Shortcake, in my thrift chest. And I will be diving into the thrift chest soon because I do have to sort that out and really choose what I want to keep, what I want to sell, and what to get rid of. But this is what the package looks like on these little mini figures. And then you can see that there are six in the at least Series 1, if it says Series 1 on here anymore. And this is TLS Toys on the front. I guess that means the loyal subject. And then these ones seem to be translucent and sparkly from the ones that I've seen. I probably have only seen the same ones. Those aren't necessary. My friend just wanted the basic characters. So that is what we're getting. Oh, it is exciting to me to see that there is a collector card inside. Oh, that's, this is really, really cute. Oh, I might want to, I want to keep the collector cards for myself. Uh, very, very cute, and then it has a checklist inside. It's nice that they made them individually, and does that mean that we get a little bio on the back? Okay, yes, and it is just in English, which, and this is Orange Blossom, by the way, so it is strange that uh, Canada did get them, because we've got this French thing going on, where if we, some of these smell, and I guess it would be... Oh, it does smell. It smells like orange blossom. That's cute, and it smells in a good way. So, a little Smurf-like figure. Um, they're nicer than I thought that they were. Uh, I do see some paint mishaps when I look at these inside. Here, let me adjust the lighting just slightly now that the thumbnail is done, and we are looking at the figures. But, yeah, that's pretty cute, and the paint's looking pretty good on it to me. I don't know what I was seeing in the package. But that is, that is cute. Okay, let's um, move on. And I really like this artwork, too. Very, very classic. Okay, okay. And then the boxes are individualized with the character that you are getting on one side. And then they put a sticker on the front. This one is cute and a baby. I don't know. I didn't know there were other babies beside Lemonada. So, I don't know. What do you know? What do you know about Strawberry Shortcake? You probably know more than me. Again, we got the very cute card, and this is Apple Dumpling. I mean, there's not a cuter name than Apple Dumpling, but check out that artwork. Oh, and that turtle. I, de I do definitely remember that. I had a friend who had a sister that collected lots of these, but again, I would always choose Lemonade up, put them in the General Lee, and we would have a smash in good time, is what uh, I think he described it as, and we would, we would, we would um, crash cars into each other with the Strawberry Shortcake dolls inside of the cars as they were like test dummies, basically. 
That's what we were using them for. We would do it inside though, not, not in the dirt. So she comes with her little turtle friend, which again, is, they're painted very well. <laughs> Does she smell like apple dumplings? She just smells sweet. Uh, very, 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 very cute. Mm, that's her bum. She's in a bathing suit of some sort, or maybe that's a shower cap. I never understood the bonnet thing, do you? I guess some of them are gonna stand better than others. I can't get this one to stand, which kind of is important, and there's no peg in the bottom. But, I mean, maybe we'll have to lean, lean some of them. Let's uh, hop over here to Rainbow Bright. And, okay, that, that brings me up this. I was really excited about the dolls, actually. I thought that they looked really cool. And I thought that, and I thought it was really cool that they were putting the worlds together. But the dolls aren't the same. Their heads aren't the same size or anything, so that's different. Again, we have the character, and then we have the main character. Oh main two characters, Rainbow Bright. This is Twink, T-W-I-N-K, <laughs> before Twinks were a thing. And then again, there are four exclusive special ones. And in this case, they glow in the dark. And I don't know, <clears throat> it's not easy to tell uh, unless I don't, yeah. When I looked into the bins and I saw the strawberry shortcake ones, you could obviously see the ones that were translucent and sparkly, that they were the chase ones. But here you just had two extra ones and I would hold them up next to each other and I couldn't tell the difference. Maybe, uh, maybe they didn't have glow in the dark ones in each box, each pack. Or and it just so happened that I've never seen a chase one. I, I'm 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 not really sure. Anyway, here is his stockings look funny. He's standing extra tall, isn't he? Normally just on the ground, maybe not. Um, what's his name again? Twink. There, he, yeah. Uh, cute, cute. Again, the paint is way better than I thought it would be. We're opening up twelve figures today. Let's open up another one of these. This is the boy, Red Butler. I think he is a very obscure character, or maybe not, I don't know, I don't, I know it was a cartoon, I must have watched the cartoon, but I didn't really pay that much attention. You know what, it might have not have been in Canada, this is Canada, Canadian Walmart, so yes, I've mentioned that a few times. These little collector cards are incredible, um, it's, I would have probably preferred if they made just a collector card, but I guess it was... You know what? They should have split it up. Hey, this is, this is my idea, is that they should have gave, given us two cards and cut this in two and had this as one card and then they had the checklist as a separate card because, yeah, it would have been cool to have these as collector cards. I love a collector card, but it still is. And when you're sticking this in a binder, one of the collector card binders, then you can't see the checklist on the inside anyway. So maybe this was the right choice. Uh... The, they've been in business for a long time. I guess they do know what they're doing at the loyal subjects. You know, okay, where is Red Butler? Red Butler. Is he actually a butler? Okay, I'm going to get rid of these things. I don't know if we want to save these boxes or not. They're pretty nice boxes. But I guess the collector card outshines the box. Have I showed you the boxes all around? He is looking cute, too. Um, very spacey, those rings like Saturn that they have, or I don't know, very strange leg warmer, um, puffed up. It kind of, they look like those things that make those noises. <laughs> toys, 80s toys, 70s toys that you could, I don't know what they're called. They still make them now. I see them, that they're making them at the Dollar Tree. You can get those spring toys okay let me put these boxes aside and then these collector cards aside did i show you his bio yeah i think i held it let me hold it you can pause it read it it would take me forever if i was gonna read those things i can't read okay who who do we have next let's do this little pink girl it says ages three and up collect them all it says if these show up at the dollar store um, price point on these, I think they're about $9. Uh, 
Yeah, they're they're a bit expensive. Look at that artwork. That is amazing. That is so cute. And then look at this artwork. It's completely different, digitized more, um, but also very, very cute. Tickled Pink. Is that her name? Is that really what her name is? Tickled Pink. Cute. 40th anniversary of Rainbow Bright. Does it say any number on here? No. What do you think the anniversary is of Strawberry Shortcake? They didn't think it was necessary to put it on there. Okay, here she is. She's a bit thinner. She's got her rainbow puffy puff puffs thing going on. They just look like nylon puffs. I think I've seen so many cosplay outfits of this stuff that I I just know that it's these are vinyl puffy sleeves and uh, I mean and, okay that's her bum. Her skirt is really really short. Don't look up it. Um, cute little boots. Just I never realized that they look like they are astronauts. They kind of look like they're in spacesuits, which there's the stars and everything. And yeah, I guess maybe they are. You know what? I might not have ever seen an episode of Rainbow Bro. No. Strawberry shortcake, huckleberry pie, blueberry muffin. Just that's from the commercial, though. That's that's why I know that. I haven't been smelling these. The um, Rainbow Bright ones don't smell. The Strawberry Shortcake ones do. Here is the uh, the girl herself, Strawberry Shortcake. And uh, check out that artwork. So Strawberry Shortcake, Holly Hobby ripoff, would you say? Um, I would definitely, I would definitely have to say that yes. And I would maybe not a ripoff, but an improved Holly Hobby. Or do I mean Raggedy Ann and Andy? Holly Hop. She's kind of a mix of both, isn't she? I don't know. I've never, I've never really, well, I can't say that, but I don't remember actually ever like sitting down and really thinking about Strawberry Shortcake before. That's not true. I probably have. Um, she is Raggedy Ann. She is Holly Hobby. But uh, if I was to choose who I like the best, I would choose Strawberry Shortcake. And especially these versions. Her bio looks shorter than the rest. Strawberry Shortcake is a perpetual optimist. <laughs> That's how it starts. I, I knew there was a reason I wasn't reading those. Uh, very, very, very cute. Oh, one of the best things about Strawberry Shortcake is that they had socks and shoes, and it just felt so real and so right. Um, the person that I'm sending these to does live in Europe, and they have sent me Strawberry Shortcake reissues, um, and I am very grateful for those, and I do have a collection of those, but I get really jealous at uh, the stuff that, I think it's Brazil, maybe it's Brazil and Portugal, maybe it's just Portuguese countries that really like Strawberry Shortcake and have been reissuing them. Okay, oh, what a coincidence. We're doing the main star here, Rainbow Bright. And check out that new digital art, which I love. And the old classic art, which I love. And the checklist again. Have I shown the checklist here? So, I, I don't know. Have you noticed how many... Rain I haven't opened any. I guess, yes, I have. Um, have you noticed any glow-in-the-dark ones? How do I tell? Have you found any glow-in-the-dark ones? She's super cute. She's got a tattoo on her face. That's pretty hardcore for the 80s little girls from space. But yeah, okay, I'm 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 figuring out a lot of things. I guess it's if I'm, I'm I guess I haven't thought much about Rainbow Bright, but it is spacey and cool. And let's see who else that we have left. Both of these figures that we're opening today. One, two, three. I guess it's a strawberry shortcake that we have to open now. These, these, this is my favorite part. Uh, why don't they make collector cards today that are so nice and simple? Like sometimes I buy collector cards. I bought myself some collector cards for uh, my birthday that we will be opening. I guess I'll be opening it on this channel. They're not really toys, but they're kind of toys. It's um, their 90s music cards that I collected as a kid, and 
that's what we'll be opening. Anyway, back to these cards. Very, very nice. New art, old art, bio. That bio looks like it's written differently. Oh, I guess it's written differently from Strawberry Shortcake. What's the difference between the card backs? Very, very different. Cute. One's ultra modern, one's ultra wholesome. If I was to guess, I'd say that this one was glow in the dark. This is one of the ones that can be glow in the dark. I can't tell. Cute, cute, cute. And um, also, like I mentioned, I believe that these are going to be readily available. I thought that you had sometimes when things show up at Walmart, you have one chance to get it, and one store or selected stores will only get one case, and then that's it. Um, but it looks like that uh, these were put out. People were scooping them up really, really quickly, and I was one of them. But then I started seeing more and more, and uh, they're not selling out, and there's lots of dolls, and there's lots of figures, and they keep rep replenishing them, which is an odd thing to see at Walmart um, in recent years. Oh, I can't finish opening up all of the Rainbow Pride. I was supposed to open up more Strawberry Shortcake, this one is called, I probably haven't been saying all of their names, have I? Lemon Meringue. I definitely know Strawberry Shortcake better than Rainbow Bright. That is her card bio. Cute, cute art. Look how adorable. It's disgustingly adorable. I wonder if I missed Joe on these. I'll have to show them even more at the end. There she is. Is she like Vanity Smurf? She has a little mirror. Looks a little vain. She does look a little too cute for her own good. have to say that. She's all blonde and curly and these are painted quite well. I don't know what I was seeing, but when I was looking at them, I was like, these don't look like they're painted that well. She's standing. Smelly. We gotta open up another one. This one looks like, I don't know, she's very much like Strawberry Shortcake. She's Raspberry Tart. So, yeah, strawberries and raspberries aren't that dissimilar. Very common red berries. So here's her little card. Oh, she looks very funny. Look at that frizzy hair. And then her, they fixed up her hair in this newer art. Is that, am I right, correct? I mean, that can't be old art because it does look very digital. It looks like new art. That looks like old art. That looks like Holly Hobby. My favorite's got to be the baby with the turtle, though. And it's funny that the only one that, the only one that came with a pet was the baby with the turtle. I am sticking it right up my nose. Um, did she have a parrot? Hmm. Can you remember all of the pets? The pets I would like to collect. If I couldn't collect the characters, the pets were really cute. Uh, cute, cute, cute. It looks like she eats a lot. She's got a Sunday, and um, maybe that's maybe that's her skirt and not her belly. But very, very adorable. Her hat is fat too, which we we like. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, she's one of the non-standers, standers, but my table is also not totally straight. Okay. Oh, we're saving, we're saving the boy for last. So here's another space girl called Stormy. Yeah, I, I totally never saw this. Where's um, where's uh, Purple Pie Man? Which one is he? The Purple Pie Man must be from Strawberry Shortcake, and uh, that wicked evil lady that was tall and lanky oh whoa that's our first grumpy character this is stormy oh i guess the name fits stormy is a little girl who lives in the clouds beyond the rainbow so i guess that is kind of space i mean the clouds aren't exactly in orbit yet but you know um, above rainbow land she's rainbow bright's friend and she is in charge of the clouds thunder rain and snow she rides a beautiful deep purple horse called sky dancer look i read one um cranky i guess she's stormy so she brings on the storm she is a thinner character can they live in the same world i never really did compare both of them together see their heads are 
huger, and I think that is the same with the dolls as well. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, let's put those, oh, 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 can she support her? All right, and then we have the last one. Oh, oh, landed on my foot. Oh, they're hard. Oh, they hurt, that hurt. Oh, oh, yeah, they don't stand up very well. You're going to have to, like, lean them up against something. They really should have had pegs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do you have a favorite yet? I'm trying to save these boxes just in case. Yeah, I showed the last card. This one is called Huckleberry Pie. Strawberry shortcake, huckleberry pie, blueberry muffin, just... Through three inches, two inches, three inches high. Okay, there he is. Very, very cute. If that's not Raggedy Andy, I don't know who is. There is his crate of berries. I wonder if they were ever sued. Um, and then inside, did you read his bio? Very, very cute. Very, very wholesome. And uh, he's got a container of blueberries. I don't like that they... Um, are holding things and stuff like it does I like a, a signature figure when I'm collecting especially from series one so it is interesting that they you know some of them have animals some of them have stuff attached some of them don't have stuff attached they're not I kind of want them like signature robots I guess for a collector figure at least with Smurfs, that's what I like the most, too. I don't like ones that are too extravagant. Anyway, these are super, super cute. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to show them to you one more time. Show you a good look at him, spin him around, just in case I didn't. And I'll lay them down so they don't fall. I don't want to hurt them. And there's her. That's her bum. She's got a big bow on her bum. And then there's, oh, oh. And there's Stormy here, the one that I can remember her name because she is cranky. I like that lightning bolt in her head. And then there's this one that I called Plump, but she is eating a raspberry sundae, which I'm down for that. And then here's this horse, which maybe I didn't say its name because I must have said its name. No, you know Star Dancer or... I gotta, I gotta know what its name is. Do I have all the cards here? Um, Starlight. I definitely didn't say the name Starlight, but I'm pretty sure I showed you the card. If I didn't, I did now. And you were probably yelling at me. I'm not a big fan of Rainbow, so this one, yeah, it reminds me of Shira's horse, though, I have to say. And then there is the star of the show, pun intended. Cute. And then Strawberry Shortcake. I know her name. Cute, with a big basket. And then there's this one, which I don't know what this one's name is. She has a butterfly. I never commented on that. It's kind of cute. I like how the hair is blowing in the wind. Good sculpt. Can't say. This guy, you know, he, he is plump. Um, he looks like the comic relief character. Never a fan of the comic relief character. And then, whoa! And then this one with the turtle, which is my cutest. It looked like her pants had fallen down, but they're just she has big shoes on. The turtle's really cute. She is really cute. She looks bigger than all of the rest of them, even though she looks like she's a baby. See, look how big her head is compared to hers. I think the scale is out of proportion there. And then there's this one. This, uh, she, she's orange. I know she's orange something, and she is our representation of color. We like that. We like some diversity here, and it seems like she's the only bit of diversity, unfortunately. But we have a redhead, and uh, that's a boy. Puff sleeves again. He's kind of cute. We got two boys. That's good. Boys are cool, but. Girls don't like boys. Girls like cars and money. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh oh. There's one on the floor, I guess, somewhere. Wait, did I count wrong? What's going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no, they're all here. I counted wrong. I don't have my numbers down. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know below which one is your favorite. Um, 
uh, did you collect strawberry shortcake? Do you like strawberry shortcake? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.